If you're watching this video, you are in the class of Life and Teachings of Jesus. In fact, this is a study abroad course, which man, I'm excited about. I think it's really, really cool to be able to do some teaching where I'm in the state of Washington. Yes, I'm an adjunct professor at APU, but I live outside of Los Angeles. I moved up to Washington several years ago, and I'm still an adjunct at APU. In addition to the fact that I'm in Washington and you are probably in uh, South Africa someplace, which I think is really kind of cool. So anyway, everything that you know about the course is going to be laid out for you online. You need to be able to check out the syllabus. This is UBBL 330, Life and Teachings of Jesus, and we are going to go ahead and plow through. I'm going to show you a little bit of a clip next after this one about something that I recorded several years ago, which kind of outlines a little bit of my philosophy about what we're going to be doing. But I'm really glad to be able to welcome you. I'm looking forward to having some connected time with you. I'm going to try to be able to pull off an Adobe Connect or some sort of face-to-face -face time. I don't know how that's going to work out when it comes to all the mileage that we have to be able to put between ourselves and how the technology will work, but we'll try it out anyway. And then also we have lots of email. We also have chat built within our um, within our program. So. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Robin, and uh, I'm a, not only an adjunct professor at Azusa Pacific, I teach a little bit at a Christian college here in Seattle, but I'm uh, also a full-time pastor and a musician and a number of other things I love to do. So welcome to the life and teachings of Jesus. I'm excited about it. I'm actually, this is kind of interesting maybe to you, but I'm actually tracking along with the things that we're doing online with the people who are here in our faith community so that's kind of cool but anyway bless you um, looking forward to meeting you make sure you put your picture as I said at the beginning of the home page embedded into the course so every time I look at something or you look at something we can see each other's faces okay in the meantime uh, God bless you talk to you soon I'm excited about teaching this class in fact I got a couple of things I want to be able to tell you right as we begin this series of, of uh, times to be able to be together online First of all, you need to know that this is an online environment and that all that we're trying to be able to do in the things that are going to happen in this class have to do with you being very, very diligent at this online environment. In other words, you have to be online, checking out the syllabus, following along week by week, being involved in the thread discussions, taking the exams, writing the paper. Everything is dependent upon you being online and I can monitor that via the course tools that I have available to me I can tell exactly how many minutes you've been online and whether you're taking this online uh, environment very seriously so my encouragement to you as your mentor and uh, teacher and friend and brother in Christ is for you to be able to do what you need to do to make sure that you have all that the course requires for you so you can find a way to be successful in uh, this journey over the next semester. As we move into the course, there's a few things that I really want you to know as, you know, that I really feel strongly about when it comes to instructing students and going through scriptural teaching and enjoying this type of uh, environment that we have an opportunity to enjoy together. First of all, I really believe in transformational teaching. In other words, when you come in contact with the text, you're not just coming in contact with something that's static, you're coming in contact with something that's dynamic. In other words, we are exposing ourselves to the written Word of God, but really we're exposing ourselves to the living Word of God because Jesus incarnates Himself or makes Himself real through the text. In other words, God is active in the words of the Bible. And it's just the way I look at it. It's transformational in the sense that when you expose yourself to Jesus, the living, breathing, dynamic Word of God, that was active in history, but is also active today, that God wants to be able to do something in your heart and life that only He has in mind, specifically as He ministers to you in your heart in the context of our online community. So I'm excited about what's going to happen in your life and my life as we expose ourselves to the text. Secondly, I really believe that this has been a divine appointment that God has set up with you. You may have thought you were just going through a catalog or you know, registering for your classes and that this was just going to be another course you're going to take as you move toward graduation. But no matter what type of journey you are on, this is the type of thing that God, I really believe, has arranged since the beginning of time for you to be involved in. 
And uh, that may sound kind of mysterious and things, but I don't take things as coincidence. I really believe that God has brought us together for a specific purpose. And that's not only to learn about His Word, in other words, big W, capital W, Word, not just to learn about the Bible and to ro learn about Galatians and Romans, but also to be able to join together as uh, people to be able to see the types of things that God wants us to see. So this is something that the Holy Spirit is doing in all of our lives and I hope you take that seriously. Another thing I want you to know is that you're involving yourselves in a three-step process. Throughout this course you're going to be involved in exegesis, hermeneutics, and application. In other words, you're going to become an exegete, you're going to become a hermeneut, and you're going to become an applicator of scriptural insight and scriptural truth and scriptural content. You're going to learn what it means to take apart the text and to be able to understand it using the historical critical methods and the historical study methods that you've already been exposed to in your undergraduate career here at APU. You're going to learn how to be able to see the text within its context, look at words, look at the types of things that were going on surrounding the text so that you can immerse yourself in it a little bit uh, clearer. You're going to learn how to be able to put aside preconceived assumptions and just dive into what the text is saying at that particular time to those particular people before you even take a step into trying to interpret it or apply it today you need to understand its context that you need to understand the richness of its history to the people that God was uh, speaking to thousands of years ago that's exegesis you're going to learn how to be an interpreter of scripture you're going to learn how to be able to take what's written down and draw meaning out of it and you need to understand that there's meaning throughout history, not just mean within our own individual lives. So you're going to learn how to interpret the text and uh, lastly you're going to learn how to apply the text because I strongly believe that it's not just words written on a page but that God wants us to be involved in making it the word of life for you and for me. Lastly you're going to learn how to be an applicator. <laughs> lastly you're going to learn how to apply scripture and to make application of Scripture one of your clear goals no matter when you expose yourself to the text of the Bible because the Bible is not supposed to be just some sort of static word on a page it's supposed to be dynamic in your life too and it's supposed to bring about transformation and uh, a change of heart and a change of life just as second Timothy 3 16 and 17 says the Word of God is active and it does things within us to be able to exhort us and challenge us and encourage us and support us but also bring us a view of life that's bigger than our own you know blind ways of looking at things uh, narrowly it opens up for us the true broadness of the way that God has created us so you're going to be an exegete or hermeneut and an applicator of scripture last but not least I want you to know that as we read scripture we're entering into his story this is something that's bigger that's going on the Bible is a story of God's people and their interaction with God and as God tries to draw them into relationship with Him and in community with each other. But this has been something that's been going on for centuries, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year throughout human history. But it's not just human history, it's God's history, God's action with people. So we're entering into His story and we're finding our place within that story. And uh, yes, we're significant and by all means, in individualistic American culture it's hard to be able to see ourselves as something bigger but we really are part of God's story and uh, we play a part in it and our part is important and significant in the 21st century but we really are joining the flow of what God's been doing already and uh, before you were even having an opportunity to confess Jesus is Lord of your life and to commit yourself to following him God was active and he'll be active for centuries to come until uh, he cleans up this whole sinful mess and recreates the heavens and the earth. So um, I'm excited about what you're going to experience. I'm excited about the fact that God is ultimate reality. And as we open our eyes to his truth and to his presence in our midst, that we will grow closer to him and closer to each other in the process. So enjoy the semester and I'm available. Give me a call, drop me an email, and uh, we'll take this journey together. Bye-bye. A video that I just... Uh showed you was produced a couple of years ago but uh, I've been so blessed to be part of the APU community for oh my goodness since 2003 so anyway uh, God bless you on your journey and like I said at the 
a few moments ago, just feel free to call me or email me anytime about this course, okay? Bye-bye.